All right. Should a deviation of 1.3 dots below glide slope be detected, the ground prox light illuminates, accompanied by an oral alert. Glide slope. You hear that? Glide yeah. slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. The alert volume is one half the volume of other oral alerts. As the radio altitude decreases or the glide slope deviation increases, the repetition rate and volume of the oral alert increases. Below 1,000 feet radio altitude, pushing the ground prox light will cancel or inhibit the alert. Descending below 50 feet or climbing above 1,000 feet radio altitude the, the, the the alert feature. The, the Boeing 757. The system is also activated when the aircraft descends below the decision height. Decision height. The highest altitude set that is, is either the captain's or first officer's Captain and first officer. Activates the oral alert. Minimums. Minimums. It's at minimums. Minimums. The ground prox light does not illuminate during this alert. The last Winds alert shear. Wind shear, which has priority over all other alerts. During takeoff, the system arms at rotation and continues until 1500 feet radio altitude. During approach, Arming occurs at 1,500 feet radio altitude until touchdown. If wind shear conditions are detected, the wind shear light on the center panel and the master warning lights illuminate, accompanied by an oral warning. Wind shear! Wind shear! Wind shear! You see that? Both ADIs wind shear. 